Today, we are leaving Madrid and going further down south to Seville, Spain. We began our journey riding first class on a high-speed train and enjoyed a hot breakfast with a beautiful view. We have been experimenting with Airbnbs on this trip, and as you can see, we booked another one here in Seville. I think this studio apartment is adorable and is perfectly located in the center of it all, which will make walking to pretty much everything very easy. While Alfredo looks into a city tour for us, I decided to take in my surroundings and check out what was around me. Our city tour starts here, with a horse and carriage ride. We definitely took some visual notes while riding of spots we wanted to revisit on foot and explore more. There's a lot to see here and I promise we will reveal as much as we can in the four days we are staying here. That was a really nice ride around the city. It also helped us get acclimated to our surroundings. Hello. This is a recommended activity to add to your to-do list for Seville. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Red. <laughs> we love seeing the gentle care the handlers had with their horses, keeping them clean, fed, and well hydrated along with how well they kept their carriages washed and maintained. We have been on many sightseeing carriages around the world, and this by far impressed us the most. Time to start enjoying some exploring on our own. After walking around the beautiful Seville Cathedral, we finally journey inside one of the largest Christian temples in the world. As soon as you enter, you start to realize the magnitude this architecture masterpiece has.
and it's also the home to Christopher Columbus's tomb. His tomb is held by four allegorical figures, representing the four kingdoms of Spain during Columbus's life. Even in death, Columbus continued to cross the Atlantic. After the funeral at Valladolid, Columbus was buried in Seville. The body was exhumed in 1542 and taken to Santo Domenico in the Caribbean, where it remained until the island was seized to the French in the 1790s. He was moved again to Havana. After the Spanish-American War of 1898 and Spain's loss of Cuba, Columbus's remains were at last returned to Spain and buried here in the Seville Cathedral. The cathedral has more than seven centuries of history in every corner, filled with archives, libraries, music, art, paintings, sculptures, stained glass, chapels, and a courtyard. Declared as a World Heritage Site in 1987, Seville Cathedral is another one to put on your list to visit. The day is still young and plenty of beautiful daylight to enjoy. We recognized a few friends and followed them. Hi, come this way. You gotta check out the river. That was a very pleasant scenic stroll to the Rio Guadalquivir River. This is awesome, a perfect day to be on the water. A few world's firsts started right here on the river. For instance, the first sailing around the world left from Seville in 1519. Today, it's a river so many enjoy rowing, canoeing, cruising on big tour boats, and circling the river in smaller vessels like the one we're about to board. I have to say, so far, we've had a very relaxing day. Add some wine or a nap makes this already tranquil setting even better. But we need to snap out of the sleepy haze soon because we're trying to catch the sunset at Plaza de España. I have an idea to wake us up. Mmm, so good. A little sugary dessert before dinner won't hurt us, right? Ooh. Uh. That was just what we needed. And for our grand finale of our amazing first day, we made it just in time to see the sunset at Plaza de España. Built for the Ibero-American Expo of 1929, a lavish plaza palace hugs 50,000 square meters in the Maria Luisa Park.
a magical plaza palace that has a beauty and charm all of its own. It's as if the sun had a dial while slowly turning the dimmer switch down, softening up the colors for the night. That's how Seville's sunset unfolded. Our first day was a good one. Time to grab a bite and get some rest for our day tomorrow. Follow us to the Royal Alcazar of Seville. We stumble upon the best cafe and stroll the city. And please don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. We appreciate all of you. On behalf of Traveling Fearless and the entire crew, I'd like to thank you for joining us on this trip. And we're looking forward to seeing you on board again in the near future. Have a nice day. Thank you.